Isabella! Are you in here? I don't have enough. Isabella! There you are. Yes. Who are you? Guillermo sent me to find you. He's worried about you. <sighs> Poor Guillermo. He's probably killing himself with guilt, too. <laughs> I guess we were both right. There was a hidden crypt, and I did have an idealized view of what it would be like. How did you injure yourself? I was on a rope when the tremor hit. The shaking threw me into the walls, the rope snapped, and I hit the water badly. Ugh. I think my ankle's broken. In order to get you out, I'll have to go back for help. It will take several people. <laughs> What's so funny? Can one of those people be Sarah? I'd love to see the look on her face when she has to admit that one of Manu's fantastic stories turned out to be true. I'll suggest it to Guillermo. Now, I don't think I can get out the way I came in, so I'm gonna have to look for another way out. I'll be right back. And I'll be right here. I've always been grateful for my vivid imagination, except for right now. I can't wait to get out of here. Oh, at last, somebody found me. Preparation for the ultimate test, I had begun to explore the crypts and tombs found near the mission. They are challenging and dangerous, and I am slowly improving. My reflexes are quicker, I'm getting stronger, and I dare say my eyesight in the dark is improving. I know there are others trying to prove their worth to Brother de la Cruz, but they will not best me. May Huascar's knowledge of the two afterlives be sufficient to guide us, if we arrive in either.
I was not worthy. Forgive me for my hubris. It was me, don't worry. I have returned from my training, however, Brother de la Cruz has disappeared. The sisters of the mission have no idea where he went. No matter, I will wait for him to return. My heart is pure, my head is clear. I am ready for the trials and I will prove to him I am the Chosen One. I must be on the right path. The air is getting fresher. Don't tease me. I've spent the night in a crypt. <laughs> wheel-lock pistol, never mass-produced and banned in the Holy Roman Empire. Ostentatiously decorated, a bit much for a missionary, but maybe a fitting weapon for an egoist such as Lopez. There's some damage to the pommel, but otherwise the weapon seems in fine condition. I know now that I am not the Chosen One. Now I fear I have endangered the lives of Brother de la Cruz and the Sisters of the Mission. They do not know that the hollow earth surrounding the Mission is home to demons. Cruel, hissing creatures with twisted claws and sick, yellowed eyes. I came to this place to purge them from the world, in the name of Angel de la Cruz to win his favor and earn my seat at his side. But I have failed. I could not contain this evil. And now it is out, and all warning of it will die down here with me. Isabella, I see daylight. You'll be out of here in no time. You're amazing. Thank you so much.
Impossible. I can't carry any more. All full up. Can't carry any more. Did you see that? It was a condor. Magnificent birds. Ah, uh, I must have missed it. Some people around here think they're a good omen, but they're just birds. People like to think good things will happen. And that's fine. As long as they don't put all their hopes in it. This describes something nearby. I swim with a turtle, seen only by those who let fear fall away. This leather-bound volume of prayers seems to be from the late 16th century. It's in remarkable condition. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Someone decided this depiction of Christ's death needed a little sprucing up. It's amazing how the beliefs of disparate cultures can become intertwined over time.
Pull up. Can't carry any more. St. John was the last of Jesus' apostles to die, and the only one whose life didn't end in martyrdom or suicide. As a writer of five books of the New Testament, he's the patron saint of theologians and scholars. Because of his long life, he was able to take on several students who continued his teachings after he died, establishing a line of religious study that remains unbroken to this day. Rumors have long persisted of monsters, for lack of a better term, in the area surrounding the mission of St. John. The locals refuse to discuss these sightings. They grow sullen when they are mentioned and usually scurry off and hide in their homes. However, it is my fervent belief, once we have converted the populace, they will see these monsters as nothing but superstitions, shadows that disappear in the Lord's light. How can I Hello help there. you, Lara? Everything is for sale. Except Remax drum. Enjoy it. Thank you. Enjoy it. Thank you. Hmm, good deal. Thank you. Enjoy it. Hmm, good deal. Enjoy it. All full up. Can't carry any more. Thank you. Enjoy it. Hmm, good deal. Enjoy it. Hmm, good deal. Enjoy it. All full up. Can't carry any more.
Good luck, Lara. These are two legendary trees which complement one another. The Chechen tree secretes a substance which is poisonous upon contact, and the nectar of the Chaka tree can neutralize that poison before it results in serious burns. The fascinating thing about these trees is that they always grow very near to each other. According to legend, two brothers, warrior princes, fought a battle to the death over the love of a woman and died in each other's arms. They begged the gods for forgiveness, and it was granted. Kinich, the kind one, was reborn as a benevolent Chaka tree, while Tizik, the hateful one, was reborn as the poisonous Chechen tree. Sounds like trouble. That gas is likely flammable. Ugh, smells like rotten eggs. Sulfur.
Sheila here as well. I'll need to release the gas and then ignite it. <clears throat> I'll need to release the gas and then ignite it. <sighs> the Maya Tree of Life, also known as Yashe plants its roots in the underworld, and then passes through our world as its branches extend all the way into paradise. Lurking somewhere inside the world tree is its Samye, a bird god who is said to know all the secrets of the three planes of existence through which the world tree grows.
I'll need an explosion to swing the platform. I'll need an explosion to swing the platform. <laughs> <laughs> 